This week I was watching a hangout by Red Frederick, Sean Hufford, and Slice Parkane and some of their friends. I enjoyed their work, they make a lot of sense, and I like the style in which they make their videos. But when the topic of lateral curvature came up, Slice Parkane used a technique to show the lateral curvature I disagree with. Or at least I disagree with the conclusion. So I mentioned it in the chat. I referred to a video from Frank the Brower. In his video, Frank explains in detail how much curvature should be visible. And there's an issue between the principles as used by Frank the Brower and as used by Slice Parkane. Frank shows the horizon as a flat circle around you on the globe. But when Slice Parkane sh shows lateral curvature, he compresses an image of the horizon from side to side, like I did in a previous video. And I agree, it does show a bulge, but I don't think that the bulge on the horizon is the actual lateral curve of the Earth. Looking at the horizon and the princi principle of the horizon being a circle on the globe, the problem is this. If the horizon is a circle and you are in the center, the horizon has the same radius from side to side in your field of view. So, when you are on the beach and your eye height is 6 feet, then the horizon is at about 3 miles. The drop is about 10 feet, making the horizon a flat circle around you at 16 feet below your eyes and it has a radius of 3 miles. When you then take a picture and compress the image, it shows a curve. Physically, that cannot be an actual curve, as the principle states that the complete horizon is a flat circle 16 feet below your eyes. Meaning that over the complete width of the horizon, it is 16 feet below your eyes. So why then do we see a bulge? Well, we look at this circle under a really shallow angle, at about 0 0.05 degrees. And when you look at a circle under an angle, it turns into an ellipse. So, in your field of view, the ellipse has the same radius on each side. But the radius is longer in the middle, which causes it to look like a bulge. So it's actually more like an optical illusion, because the angles on the sides are steeper. And when you then compress the image, you accentuate that bulge because you move the steeper angled lines of sight at the sides closer to the more shallow line of sight in the middle. If I'm not mistaken, this is what Frank the Brower explains in his video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Basically, what my question is to Sly, Reds and Sean is, when you compress an image of the horizon, what is it that we see? Is it the actual lateral curve of the Earth, or is it a distortion of our horizon, because we look down on that horizon under a really shallow angle? I'd appreciate any kind of response by you guys. And if anyone else has an opinion on the matter, just let me know in the comments. I would like to end with this. I believe we should always be critical about what we observe. When you take a look in the Flat Earth video comments sections, all you see is people agreeing with each other. That is no way to find the truth. Especially not for that group, when that group refers to themselves as truth seekers. So I question everything, including what people say, who I in general agree with, and who appear to be more knowledgeable than I am. I question everything because, well, I'm a bit of a geek with an arrogant streak. Anyway. Just let me know what you guys think, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.